Hi, as announced follows now any explanations about the functionality of the cube. One microcontroller controls the whole cube. The logical kernel of this cube is the memory area of the static RAM where are stored all values for the LEDs. The complete 3D picture is stored static in this memory and the LEDs of this cube shows only an image of the stored values. But these LEDs need an external display memory. It's impossible to connect 3000 LEDs with a physical memory. The display memory consists of 100 memory locations per color, always responsible for one layer. In reality, or better said at the time, there is only one active layer. That means the display memory is filled with the right information and only this layer has the electrical power for shining for a certain time. After this procedure, the display memory will be filled with the values for the next layer and only this layer gets then the power. These procedures will be repeated cyclical. But this must be done very quickly. We use the inertance of our eyes and see uh, that all layers are shining at the same time. I have a limit to perform uh, this better. Uh, my camera has only a small uh, frame rate. Let's see now how the data bits will be moved from the static RAM in the microcontroller into the display memory. The data bits leave the microcontroller serial per color and enter into the shift register. There will be happen the serious parallel conversion. I will try to show this in principle. The LEDs in a layer are organized and numbered. That means uh, there is a first LED and a last LED per layer. On the top you see a ready layer to compare. The red LED is the last and the green is the first LED of a layer. As usual in a shift register, the first will be the last. The bits are coming through the shift register in an, a single in a file, like a march of the geese. The difference is the speed of the data bits is higher. The time dimension is microseconds. This procedure is normally invisible. It happens in the background. If the shifting has finished, the layer gets power to illuminate the LEDs. Let's see the same procedure with another pattern. The white line is the last part and appears at first. The program which refreshes the image is initiated by an interrupt. This program takes the most time. Between these interrupts there is a small time slot in which the controller computes the light shows and sets the bits into static runner. 